Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're at Larry Roche Chrysler Plymouth, and with that being said, we're in Elmhurst coming out for an early year great car show. With that, I'm seeing Jay. Jay, what's your last name? Weber. And Jay Weber, it's not the first time we've met. No. And we wanted to do this car for a while. Yes, we have. But the bonus is, the later we wait, the better, the more subscribers, etc. So I appreciate all of you. And Jay, share with them what we've been waiting for. What's that? Your car. What My you... car. Oh, okay. I got 1960. <laughs> we've been waiting for just me and you to talk for a while. Okay, it's a 1965 Plymouth Barracuda. I uh, bought it out in California in 1975 in January. So I've had it for 43 years now. 43 years. 43 years. I wow. brought, it, brought it back at the, in September of 75. It was a daily driver for five years. And of course, the Chicago winters finally took its toll on the car. And uh, it started to rust out. So the wife and I decided to take it off the road and stash it. So we had body work done, had it primed, and stuck it in a garage for 20 years. And now it looks like a brand new car. Well, once we sold the house, it's not sold the house, but paid off the house, yeah. then we got the money to do all the body work. the car. To get the paint job, <laughs> yeah, to get the paint job on it. All right. And it's been a long project. It's, I got it back on the road in 05. Yeah, you keep talking. I want to show the car. Keep, stand okay. right, keep talking. Yeah. Come with me. Come right back here. All right, so tell me about this iconic shape. Oh, uh, 64, fives, and sixes all had that huge back window in them. 64s and fives were pretty much the same. 66, they did a body style change. They changed the front end and the tail lights on it. Let's take a look. But pretty much everything else stayed the same. And that is one massive back window. Is it hot? 14.4 square feet. Is it hot in your car with that back in window? In the summer, yes. Okay. It does a job on fading out the carpet. It burns it out pretty good for all that sunshine. It and does a job fading out the carpet. Yeah. It was right. brand new carpet, and it's lost its blackness, I guess you would call it. It's lost its luster. Let's move back just a step to take that in. Those are the original plates off the car from California. That's the guy I bought it from. Todd's Fine Cars in Vallejo, California. Let's show that. It originally came with the 180 horse 273 automatic and a seven and a quarter rear end. Was that the big engine for that one? No, that was the, the, the small V8. The small V8. Was there a six for it? There was a slant six they put in this. Okay. This one came with the V8. I managed to score a Formula a 66 Formula S many, many years ago, and I pulled the. the uh, the Commando V8, which is the high horsepower 273, the four speed and eight three. Let's quarter, open it up, shall we? Well, we're right here. Three quarter rear end put underneath it. I'll show this one just because it's better in the light. Now you've got the period correct Craigers on it. Yes, I do. There's a five five bolt on a four inch pattern. Most of the cars have four to quarter, four and a half inch pattern bolts. This one's got the four inch, so it's a small bolt pattern. It has solid lifters, and every spring I do an adjustment on them. Look at that. It has the original carburetor still on it that was rebuilt by a car place in Cicero. It runs really nice. The engine's been rebuilt, of course. It's like they stuffed it right in there, right? And then the, uh, uh, interesting how the exhaust manifolds actually tip up. And it's so you can get past the uh, steering column. Right. Yeah, this side is designed up like that. The other side is designed down. Wait a minute. I didn't notice that at first. Yeah. So the steering column is the answer. Because of the steering well, that's column. That's the reason why this one's yeah. up like that. Because they couldn't put it down. So here's our steering column and all of the linkage. I did not notice it. It's up on one side and down on another. Then you've got your fender tag. I did put the uh, electronic ignition on it, Chrysler electronic ignition. Does it, it does it sound different, or does it still have no. that, that little Chrysler whine when it starts? Oh, it's still got the Chrysler whine. Let's, yeah. let's, it's the, let's the starter. <laughs> Let me get to the back of the car before we start it. And I, I want to hear, of course, that amazing whine. That's kind of neat. You put your finger through there. Do they call this a special top? Is this a no, it's just a vinyl top. Vinyl they top. Just, they didn't run it all the way to the back because of the way this is designed. Yeah. And take a look at this window. That is a lot. 14.4 square feet. Biggest window they ever put in a car. Right here. It's nice in there. 
All right, let's take a walk. It's toasty warm. Toasty warm. Obviously, your car color is ivory, as it's telling us. Well, that's a nice back end. It does have the Hirsch four-speed shifter in it. That's why I put the emblem on there. Okay, so that's a little uh, creative design right. there. Right, yeah, artist yeah. license. Cool. My hot rod, I do what I want. Exactly. <laughs> What's the, can we see the trunk area? It's full of garbage. Well, you know what, we'll pass on it then. That's okay. <laughs> full of garbage. The trunk's got the stuff in the trunk. Yeah, it's got trunk stuff in it. The cooler yeah. And yeah, the cooler and all that. I just wanted to see it from a space standpoint, but that's fine. So let me just feature, so we've got the metal. We've got the metal. Metal. These are brand new. Yeah, they really look nice. So every year it seems like you do a little something to it. The last two years I'm done. So now it's now it's complete. The factory shifter in it. That's that's the factory shifter. And lots of room. So this seat comes out. Yes, it does. Can we pull up? Show what that looks like. Up. Oh. We get the other side and I'll hook it. Okay, so there's a hook, like so. I see how that works. And then the back seat sits like so. But it looks a little cooler down. Yeah, no, I got it. I can see where it looks a little cooler down. So let's take a look at this. That mileage is 159,000. Which would make sense for this time frame, right? Well, car gets driven a lot. <laughs> and, the, and, and I mean, the fact that, uh, well, as much as you say it's driven a lot, it's not that bad for that, that time frame. You know well, what I mean? that mileage was put on by the first owner, and then when I bought it, I was a daily driver for five years, so there was a lot of mileage put on then. I like this little piece here. You know what I mean? It's just a nice little piece instead of just having a hole with the boot. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little accessory piece. And that looks like the original radio. It's the original radio. Wow. The tack is obviously a sun, a sun tack add-on. Yeah. We got the lighter. Our blower motor, and there's no nothing on the nothing on the door. Or excuse me, nothing on the uh, uh, instrument panel that says the car. No. Other than right there, Barracuda. Barracuda. And even the hood liner. That's a new hood head, uh, headliner. Liner, headliner. Yeah. Yeah, the little LED light back there. Yeah, we can leave the lights on and not have to drain the battery. Yeah, right, right, right. Let's fire it up, shall we? And I'll, I'll listen to it idle, and then we'll get a little ready. Yeah. It's so smooth. You can see it's smooth. It runs really good. Yeah, really good. Let me listen to uh listen to the idol. Where's our exhaust? Right here. It's got the performance exhaust system. They had a special exhaust system they put on the uh they had a special exhaust system that they put on the Commando 273s. It's a single exhaust, but it's uh, a header arrangement. Instead of having one pipe just jam into the side of the other pipe, it's an actual header configuration. And it's a sewer pipe. It's huge. It's about this big around. Shut her down. When you when you shut it down, can you step on the brakes for me? That's wonderful. Really like the shape right Those in here. Those are LEDs too. And is that right? I love the shape in here, right in here. It gives it haunches to it, and yet we have this big piece across the back. 
Jay, stand right next to me, would you? So, the reaction when you're driving this is what? People wave. I get thumbs up all the time. Hey, wave. So it's an instant friend maker. Yes. What do you like best about the car? Oh, it's, it's mine. <laughs> you know, I, I just, it fits you. I, I thoroughly enjoy driving it. I take good care of it. It's a lot of fun to go out because people see it and they like it. There are very few around. There's one more at this show here, Formula S. So with the exception of the one here, how often do you see another Barracuda? Never. And it's really because, sadly, they've kind of rusted out. They are rust buckets, yeah. No doubt about that. The only reason this one lasted this long is because it came from California. And, and, and the caretaker had a little to do with it. The five years I drove it in, in the Chicago area here in our winters, because I drove it in the winter. Yeah. It was a nightmare with this, uh, the sure grip rear end. Yeah. You get on a side street, and it just kind of goes to the curb, and you just kind of ride the curb around. Because <laughs> the streets are all crowned, and both back wheels are spinning. So it's drifting. Yeah, there's no traction at all on You're it. drifting it the whole time. You were a drifter before they had drifting. Yeah. Unintentional drifting. Unint <laughs> unintentional drifting. Great stuff. Uh, so with that being said, here's what we'll do. First of all, for people who like the channel, subscribe to it, hit the bell, you can see all the cars in the channel. Jay, so glad we waited, so glad we finally got your car. A real treat. Thanks for being on my car well, store. Thank you for coming out.